At the beginning of the year, I do a lot with density. And as much as students think they understand density, they don't. We talk about what makes things float and what makes things sink. Uh, one of my favorite, um, uh, not activities, one of my favorite things to do is to throw two cans of cola into my fish tank. The Diet Coke floats and the regular cola sinks. I just leave them there. I don't explain that to the students, and I don't answer their questions either. And the fish float around. They don't care. I can't leave them in too long because eventually the aluminum will uh, break down and the cola leaks into the fish tank. But if I leave them there for a day and take them out at the end of the day and put them back in tomorrow, it works fine. But I do use that to ask my students to generate hypotheses. Why do you think that happens? And even if they can come up with the word density, they're not using it correctly. Obviously, the regular with sugar in it is more dense than the one without sugar. And then I point out, well, it's not floating in cola. It's floating in a fish tank. So of course, since I won't accept that answer, they go to heavier. And then I point out, well, I'm much more heavy than a diet cola can, and, or than a regular cola can, and I float, and the can sinks. So now they're not happy with that one either. Um, so one of the things I do, uh, it's kind of a discrepant event, and I'll usually do this after the cans are in the fish tank, but before we've talked about it, is I have two beakers up here. Oh, and, and I try to make, uh, I try to play with these things. I, I, you know, why did I only fill one of these up? And I get some water, you know, I make sure they know it's, it's tap water. And I should have filled them both up, but I forgot to before class, so I guess I'll just have to fill up the other one. Oh, it's a little higher than this one, and make sure they're the same height. And okay, now they're both full of water. And I have a candle, just an ordinary candle, okay? And, but I've got two beakers, so I'm going to try to break the candle in half. I want two equal size pieces of candle. Well, I've tried to do this live in front of the students and it doesn't work. You can't break it and be ready to go because it probably will, you'll fumble with it and it not work. So of course I have a candle already broken in half. I come over here, break the candle and voila, look what I've done. Oh, that isn't very much in half now is it? So we talk about that there's a difference in the two sizes of candle. Which one do you think is going to be heavier? They did come from the same candle. Okay, and I, that's the reason I don't break it ahead of time. I pretend that I'm breaking it here because I want them to understand these are the same candle. There's no difference in them other than size. So they obviously pick that this one's heavier. You can check it if you want. You can have a balance out. And so since it's heavier, it's going to sink. And since this one's lighter, it's going to float. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Okay. Well, all right. But when I take them out, actually I usually have them a little closer together. If I fumble enough, and the kids are used to me fumbling, sometimes on purpose and sometimes accidentally. If I fumble and I drop it, then we've got a problem here. Well, if that happened, what happens if I take this piece of candle and drop it in the other beaker? And it sinks. So now the heavy one is floating and the light one has sunk. All right. What's happening here? And I wait. And somebody will say something and somebody will say something else. You tricked us. They're not from the same piece of candle. I pull them out and have a student test them. The Believe it or not, the last thing they want to tell me is that they are different liquids. And that is the case. And the point I'm trying to make to them is that it's not the difference in the candles and it's not, that makes something float or sink. It's not the difference in the liquids that will make something float or sink. It's the difference in the density of the floating object and the liquid that you put it into. It's not that this candle is heavier than the other one. It's not that it's more or less dense than the other. It's that the candle and both of them are less dense than the liquid they're floating in. And in this case, they're more dense than the liquid they're floating in. So we're comparing the object to the liquid and not to each other. Okay. 
little warning here. Um, when I did this to prove that they had a candle, I thought eh, I should light it because that proves that it's a candle. Fortunately, I didn't do it, so I don't have any horror stories to tell you, but one of these liquids is flammable. So don't prove the candle is real by lighting it, please. Um, they can feel them, they're waxy, so they can prove it that way. Okay. So this is about density of two different liquids compared to the objects that we put in them. Thank you.